Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's TJ here. We're back in Farm Sim 25 and uh, we got some weeding to do today. Let's get rid of these weeds. We don't want them hurting our crops. We want to get the biggest yield possible. I also noticed that this field did not get for fully fertilized even though we were using a cedar that uh, fertilizes as it plants. So I don't know what that was about, but it's fine. We'll, we'll run the, the fertilizer spreader over the small area that didn't get taken care of. No big deal. Uh, and we'll do that right after we're done with this. This shouldn't take too long. There's not that much to do. Um, we're obviously in April now. I finished up the weeding and hoeing contracts that we had. Uh, yes, this works for the weeding contract, even though it's not technically a weeder, it's a hoe. It still worked. So that's beautiful. Very good. And, uh, oh yeah. Speaking of that, we should probably turn those in and get a bit of extra money. There we go, 79,000. That's actually enough money to be able to buy the bigger chicken coop, but I don't want to do that yet. We'll wait until harvest time to worry about that. We'll sell whatever eggs we have sitting around. We'll buy the bigger coop. We'll buy a bunch of chickens. We're going with so many chickens. Uh, and I'm waiting till harvest time because we don't really have any food for whatever chickens we do buy, right? We've only got, did I miss a piece there? I think I missed a piece. No, we're solid. We're solid. Okay. But yeah, we don't really have any extra food. So, you know, we've got like 4,000 liters in there, and that's all going to go to waste when we sell the coop, which sucks, but whatever. It's fine. No big deal. That's my own fault. Uh, we're just going to deal with it. And, uh, yeah, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I want to be making more eggs. I want to at least make a darn profit off of the chickens that we have. Mine as well, right? Right. Cool. All right. Uh, it's weird that some of these weeds, I just, I can't see them. It says that there's weeds here, but I, d I don't see them. But, uh, you know, if the game says they're there, we're gonna run, we're gonna run this thing and we'll, uh, we'll get rid of them as we can. Not a ton, though, right? See? And there's the, the little spot that's not fully fertilized, so we'll get that taken care of. And, um, yeah, once this is done, I'm gonna just run it. Uh, again, I'll check the contracts every month. And uh, we'll see, but, you know, pretty much we're, we're getting over to the harvest time. There's like a small spot that I missed over here. Where exactly is it? Somewhere over this way. Where are you? Mm hmm? That should technically get it, right? Did that count? Yeah, we're good now. Alright, sweet. But yeah, so... Um, We'll check the sales, we'll check, even though, even if something good's on sale, we probably won't buy it. But if something really good is there for a really good price, you know, I, I might just take a loan. All right, I'm back, sorry about that. Had a phone call, had to take care of it. But we're back now, we'll finish this up. I think this should be the final line. I don't think there's weeds anywhere else, so that'll be nice. Get this finished, I'll just hire a worker to take it. Uh, I'll just do it, it'll only take a single pass, so. We'll get that fertilized and uh, we'll we'll keep things moving. No, there is one more line to do. Of course there is. Alright, well I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna get the field fertilized over there, and then we will uh, I think we'll go to sleep and uh, check what uh, contracts we have for the next month and just keep on keeping on. I didn't lower this. I'm such a tool. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in a minute when I do this properly. All right, we're back. Uh, all the work is done. There was no good contracts to do. Nothing that I was felt like doing anyway. But we did have a bit of a hailstorm. So we've got a bit of crop damage here. So that kind of sucks, but <clears throat> it's nothing too bad. Nothing we can't handle. Uh, other than that, all the field work is done everywhere, and we're ready to harvest. we got the straw swath on. Let's get this going. It's time to make some cash. So we do that, I'm gonna activate real speed mod, let's go. So, lots of work to do. We're gonna run these headlands. We're going to uh, bail everything up. We only have this one field to do today, uh, on this month of June anyway. And um, still no good, har uh, no good contracts. I checked for this month and there wasn't anything that I was interested in doing. So we're just gonna leave them alone for now are going to get our harvest in because we need to start making some cash hopefully we'll make enough money from this harvest to uh, be able to get some stuff done I, as I said I would like to get 
the bigger chicken coop going start like really being able to actually make a bit of it cash from the uh, the chickens and their eggs. Ooh, you can see the damage from here. Ouch. That's rough on our canola field too. So yeah, that's that's the the storm damage that can happen. It's not the end of the world. It's not great, obviously. I'd prefer it if it didn't happen, but we're keeping that on for now because it's new and we might as well check it out. So, I'm gonna run these headlands. Uh, how many headlands do they want from us again? Two headlands, that's not too bad. We can get, take care of that pretty darn easily. Uh, just left a massive pile, that's gonna be hard to pick up, but whatever, that's my own fault. It is what it is. So, running the headlands, getting the crops, and uh, we'll make some money on this go around, and then we'll be able to actually spend some of it, some of it on some stuff, which will be really, really nice. So I'll see you guys when these headlands are finished and we are getting ready to hire a worker. All right, final headland being done right now. And um, I had to empty the harvester and I didn't destroy any crop, yay, hurrah, so good. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, something cool showed up in the store, but there's no on sale in the store, but there's no way that we're gonna be able to afford it. It's too expensive, even on sale, it's not gonna happen. And that makes me sad, but at the same time, it's totally fine. We also don't really need it. It's super excessive. I'll show you in a second. Let me just get the worker set up here. And um, I'll show you. It's a really cool harvester. All right. Worker. Don't need to do the headlands. Just get working. Just do your thing, Mr. Worker. And uh, let's go into the sale. Yeah, the ideal, the uh, Massey Ferguson Agco ideal is on sale, 44% off, but it's still 270,000 and we're not, we don't have that kind of money. So sadly, there's no way we get this. Plus it wants like the bigger engine setup, which makes it even more expensive. So that's not gonna happen, but it's cool. It's cool to think about. A, a guy can dream, can he? <laughs> All right, so this worker is running this. We don't really have anything else to do. We could get started on the baling. I don't really like to, because I don't like the bales to be in the way of the uh, the workers, because sometimes, you know, they'll, they'll be like, oh, there's a thing in the way, or the worker just will freaking run it over and it'll cause problems, so we don't need that. We have a full pallet of eggs. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So good. So I think I'll just run the, the up and downs as the harvester is doing its thing and we'll cart as needed. Let's turn this baby on. He's almost got a full tank already. So yeah, definitely would like a better harvester. Um, not so much for working with. I'm fine with the working with that we have, but just the capacity is a little low. But even then, if we get a better harvester, we're going to need a better tipper. You know? I'd like to be able to empty the harvester in one go. That would be the best. Having to take multiple trips just to empty out the harvester is not going to be super fun. But we'll do what we have to do. Plus, getting a better harvester doesn't really help us make more money. It just helps us get things done faster. Which, I mean, I guess technically would help us make money. But... In the long run, I'd rather be spending the money that we have now on things that are going to net us profits in the short term rather than long term. It's probably the best way to go about it. Okay, he wants to be emptied. Let's take care of that. We're coming. Little John Beaver's on the way. Fill me up, sir. Bam, whoever's in there. I think it's a sir. Yep, it is. Okay, cool. Never know. I never take enough time to look at what worker is being hired. Because I don't really care. As long as they're doing the work, I don't care who they are. Just do the work and do a good job, and I am happy. Very happy. Alright, this is the second fill, so that's going to give us 16,000 liters. That's pretty good already. We definitely don't won't need that much for whatever chickens we end up getting. Uh, I might... Let's go sell that pallet of eggs. Yeah, let's sell the pallet of eggs just to see how much it's worth. How much is one pallet of eggs going to get us? I'll do this bailing after. Lots of time to bail. I'm not worried about that. 
Plus, we're a little below the amount of money that we need for now. And I can't sell the barley until we've got the, uh, all that set up. Because we need the barley for the chickens. So, let's dump this. Grab our pallet fork and, uh, we'll just drive it on over there. Uh, where are we going to be selling? That's not the right one. Where are we selling eggs? Where do we sell them? Could probably just use my mouse. Using the mouse for this would be a lot faster. Okay, we could sell at the bakery. That's the best price. Also, it is not far away at all. That's awesome. Where is this bakery? Just up the street. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here. Let's grab our eggs and we're gonna go sell them. I don't have anything to put them on, so I have to use the pallet fork right now. That's another consideration. Uh, we need to buy... I'm probably just going to buy the small one. There's like a little guy that does really well for this kind of stuff. Where are you? Is it miscellaneous, I think? No. This miscellaneous. Yeah, this guy. The Trias. This thing's awesome. You can get an extension on it. We obviously don't need any of that. None of that is necessary. But this thing's super cool. It even has got a ramp. You can transport like small machinery on it. That's what I was doing on the um, Huten Pantai map however you pronounce it. Uh, I was using that to drive around the um, the rice seeder and the rice harvester because they go really, really slow. So I was using that to get them around faster. And uh, it worked out pretty darn nice. So I like that thing. And we're going to use it to transport our pallets. Okay, we got one pallet of eggs. 1,000 liters. I mean, it's just going gonna, gonna to give us exactly what it said, isn't it? We don't even really need to sell it to see how much we're going to make. We're going to make about four grand. That's what it's going to give us. So let's go. I can always grab the Challenger to do any carting that needs to be done while we are away with the John Deere. Because it's going to take a minute. So I'll be, get back to you when I am there and we sell this. All right, here we are. Moment of truth. I mean, if we make four grand, we've basically broken even for what we spent to get the chickens in the first place. So, like, one pallet is... Yeah, it gave us exactly what I thought it would. Because it's a thousand liters. No math to do there. So that's awesome. Um, that made us back the money that we spent to buy the coop. Uh, almost. Uh, 200 short. No big deal. But it's working out. Haha. -ha. That's what you get for trying to drive around me. Alright, it's going to take a minute to get back because this tractor is slow. But I'll see you guys back at the farm. And uh, we'll get all this work done. Perfect timing. Literally, I pulled in and it gave me a notification that the uh, workers got a full, full grain tank. So that's perfect. <laughs> Excellent timing. Very nice. So let's get that emptied and then we can uh, continue to run the baler. Make a bunch of bales and we'll see how much money we can make. Oh, I'm going to have to move him. Okay, let's take care of that. Uh, sorry, you're fired. It's not your fault. You were doing a great job, but, you know, I, I need to move this, and I can't move it while you're in it, so my bad. If you hang around, I'll rehire you, but, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, let's let this empty. We'll do a bit of bailing while we wait. Bailing, bailing. So yeah, uh, I definitely think the play here is to get more and better chickens. The better chicken coop with more chickens in it. That is the decision that I'm definitely going to make. Because uh, that's going to help profitability by a lot. So that's what I'm going to do with the profits from this year's harvest. And then we'll look at different things later. Uh, obviously... Thank you. I'm going to go drop this off. And then, actually, let's get the harvester running again. Then we'll drop it off. Because we can just do this. Get him working. Go drop off that load of barley there. Okay. You just do that. Sir, ma'am, whatever. Person, thing. Cool. Awesome. Appreciate you. But yeah. So that's going to increase profitability. Quite a bit. If we can get it up to the point where we're making like a pallet every month, I don't know how many chickens we'd need to do that. I didn't do any math for it, but we'll figure it out. Not super worried about it. But that'd be great. 
That would be great. Just a nice little uh, add-on to our money per month. So that's the plan. Uh, we can go back to bailing now. So let me get all this bailed up. Let me get this all harvested up. And then I will be right back with you guys. All right, so the harvest is finished. The harvester is just unloading the last little bit that was in there, left over from, um, you know, what it had left over in the tank after it finished its job. And we're just finishing up baling. There's not too many lines left to go. So I figured I'd bring you on the baling adventure. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this done. We're gonna get everything bailed up. We're gonna hopefully get all the bales sold as well. I'd like to do that and then hopefully get the chickens bought. Uh, probably not going to be harvesting the other two fields today. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how time how time goes, right? And uh, of course I drove into that field a little bit because of course I did. Because that's what crop destruction does to me. And I'm drawing S's in the field because I'm a terrible driver. And that's okay. I'm totally fine. Just kind of do the same thing on the way back. Pick all that up. Yay. Run this final line down here. And then we just got to run the two top headlands. Because I never did those. Because like I said, I don't like dropping bales in the way. And then the harvester gets messed up. And blah, blah, blah. And uh, the baler's been bouncing a little bit. So I got to be careful about my speed coming down these hills. Because that's from it. Those three piles there from the, ba from the baler bouncing. And uh, missing a bit of the pickup. But, you know, whatever. It's not that much leaderage. I'm not concerned about it really and truthfully i'm not gonna probably take the te the time to like go and pick up all the tiny little piles that are still laying around uh unless we're like really close to a full bale then i will do it but you know i'm not super concerned about it and i doubt that it's going to be an issue so i'm just going to come up to the top here grab these last two lines uh, they're not even full lines because i don't bother lifting up the pickup as I drive by, so, <laughs> you know, there's some breaks in the line, it's all good, but it's been a good harvest, we got a pretty good uh, amount of barley from the harvest, so we're doing well there, I haven't checked the exact amount, but it's definitely way more than it was last time, which is nice, should make a bit more money. Uh, we're not selling all of it, and we're not selling any of it until we get our new chickens in. Right, we're at 87, so I am going to have to go around and pick up this piddly little, these tiny piddly little amounts. Um, even then, I don't think it's going to give us a full bale here. But we'll see. There's not that many laying around. There's just like these three over here, a little bit over there, a tiny bit there. And I still missed a little bit of that. Yeah, it's not going to add up to a bale, so I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to turn this off. And I forgot to reset the bale counter, so I don't know exactly how many bales we have. Uh, I'm going to do that right now, though. That way, the next time we do it, I won't have to worry about forgetting to reset the counter. And I can just look at it. It's really cool that they added that. I think that was a mod in 22, having a bale counter. Because I don't ever remember having one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just think it's neat. I can tell you how many bales you've made. Lifetime and on the current. I'll so we'll leave that there. Uh, we can leave this here. The field's right there, so I am just going to fold this up and put it over here. For now, I do need that tractor, actually because we need to go pick our bales up and sell them, and then that will hopefully give us the amount of money that we need to get our chickens. If not, we'll have to wait until we're done the full harvest, and if that's the case, that's the case. It's not the end of the world. But hopefully, this will give us just a little extra of what we need. Let me just double check here. Animals, chickens. Yeah, it's 79,000. We can afford the coop right now. We just need to be able to afford chickens and there's gonna be a lot of chickens but chickens don't cost very much which is awesome so i feel like we should be able to get what we need here plus we're gonna sell that shed so that'll give us a tiny bit of money not a lot 
and the chickens in it. And we'll have to sell that pallet because it's not going to fill up anymore. Uh, it's just going to be kind of sitting there. So we'll, we'll have to sell that pallet as well. And that's not going to give us much money. A couple hundred bucks, if that. <laughs> I'm not about to do the math on it, though. Don't care. I'm not selling it because I need the money. I'm selling it because I have to. Because otherwise it's just going to sit there and stay at the leaderage that it's at. I'm pretty sure. I don't think that if I put the new coop down and then put that there that they'll start filling that pallet. I don't know, maybe they do, but I very much doubt it. So we're just gonna pick up these bales, which we have eight so far. That was 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's not bad. That'll be maybe 10 grand-ish. Swing it around. It's probably a more efficient way to be doing this, but whatever. It's fine. I still have that, uh, I still have the bakery tagged. I probably should have untagged that. Oopsies. Oh, well. No big deal. There we go. There you go. I like bailing. I find bailing very fun. Uh, and I like the fact that it's just a little bit of extra money, right? Like... You get the money from selling your crops, but you can also get just that extra bit of cash from selling off the straw. Sorry, that person's dead now. Farm murder, my bad. Okay, these get sold at the, um, whatchamacallit. Use the mouse, it's quicker. Straw. Animal dealer. Oh, actually the animal dealer is the better, the better price right now. Let's do that. I don't think we've been to the animal dealer yet. Okay, it's up there. We can take this road. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's a good road. I didn't want to have to drive down that road. That road's narrow, and there's stuff all over the sides of it, so driving this thing through there is a bit of a pain. Uh, it's not super fun, so yeah. <laughs> Let's go this way. Yeah, and I, I love how close everything is on this map. Really cool makes life a lot easier for selling. We could even get an animal trailer and not have to spend the extra money on delivery charges for animals. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, I think bales are going here. I think. Yeah, I think that's where it wants us to sell animals. That's something else entirely. Hopefully this is the spot. If not, that's going to suck. It looks like the spot. Yep, it was the spot. 25,000. Nice. Yeah, we can definitely afford um, to do our chicken upgrade now. Hooray, hurrah for chickens. Bok, bok, power. And then we'll start making some excellent profit. Ha ha ha! Pun power over nine thousand. And it, no, that's it. That's an easy pun. That's low hanging fruit right there. Uh, but still, we're gonna do it because it's great, and because I want more eggs. They're, they're pretty good profit on eggs, you know. If you can be making enough, if you have enough chickens to be making enough eggs, you can make a good profit off of it. All right, this gets dropped off. You stay here. Let me check something. How much barley did we get? 43,000 liters. That's pretty darn good. Okay, I need this. We leave that there. I need to move this pallet so that we can sell all the chickens. And then get that pallet out of the way. I'll probably have to move the, uh, the challenger out of the way as well so we can fit the new thing there. Hopefully it's not too big and I can put it there. I, I remember it being... I remember it fitting. We'll see. Don't want that dragon along the ground. Is this light enough that I can just pick it up myself? Because that'd be great. No, apparently not. Okay, that's fine. We'll just head back. I always forget that there's third person. I always forget about that. That's, that. that's a thing. At least when you're walking on the ground, right? Like, obviously, there's third person in the vehicles. All right. Very small amount of eggs here. I think I'm just going to, um, here, let's get these eggs on this pallet just a little better. 
lift it up and I'm gonna just have a worker drive this over to the bakery which is here isn't it no it's here okay drive that up there for me appreciate you my dude thank you have a good one use my tractor in the way hang on I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming seriously you couldn't go through there but yeah whatever We'll back this up a little bit. No big deal. Or are you just refusing to do your job? For whatever reason. You know what? I'll do it on my own later. Get out of here. Alright, let's get rid of these chickens. Sad, but it is what it is. Okay, down here. Not much. Only 300 bucks. We're not making a lot of money back from that. Yeah, chickens. You don't make a lot of money on selling the chickens themselves, that's for sure. All the profit margin for chickens comes from the eggs, which, you know, that makes sense. Oops, wrong thing. Okay, let's come in here. We grab this. We're only getting half our money back for that. That's fine. The pallet of eggs that we sold takes care of that. Okay, let's get this. Oh, it's got like a little thing on the back of it. Where is all the triggers? We got triggers over there. And then that's where the pallets are going to be. So we're going to need enough space. I can probably manage that. Just got to back the tipper in and stuff. Um, yeah, this will do. Bam, down it goes. Messed with the ground a little bit there, but I don't care about that. There's nothing that we have to interact with over there. That's where we buy our animals. That's where we put our food. Stop freaking out cool. We now have access to even more chickens. I can, I can go inside this chicken coop. That's awesome. Alright. Close the door. We're buying chickens. I forgot. This holds 360 chickens. We're obviously not going to buy 360 chickens. Uh, we can buy 250. I think, yeah, I'm gonna buy 250 chickens. That's probably a lot. Hopefully we have the, the chicken feed to be able to handle that, but we're going to buy the 250 and then the extra 110 can come from babies and stuff like that. There we go. Boom. It's done. The decision has been made. There's also no way that that's 250 chickens. That, that's definitely not 250, but, you know, that's fine too. Whatever. I don't really care all that much. All right. Let's get them fed and see how what the damage is here. Uh, that did also take basically all of our money. So they better be making a ton of eggs per day. Hopefully they do. I could have just seriously screwed myself over, but you know, chickens. Walk, 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 walk power. Let's do it. This feels so much faster than like that harvester takes a long time to dump out uh, everything that's inside of it. So like that kind of sucks. <laughs> just oh, I can just change the tip side. Uh, tip side right. There it is. They're probably going to take all of this and more, I would imagine. Obviously, we're going to check once this is done. What are we at? Uh, not too much more. So, yeah, we've got more than enough to deal with this and be able to sell the overage. Uh, again, I'm not going to sell yet. Because I want to see how much they eat per day so that I can do a little bit of math and figure out how much we need for them per year. And that way I can make sure that I have food for them every year. Uh, I might even just keep all the barley that we have because I kind of like to, if we can make enough money off of the canola harvest and uh, the other harvest, whatever the heck it is, um, oats, that's what it is, it's oats. We can make enough money from the canola and the oat harvest. I'd kind of like to buy a planter and um, just do like three fields of soybeans. <laughs> All right, so they can hold 9,000 liters and we'll figure out, we'll see soon how much they eat per day. Hopefully it's the same kind of deal where we only have to fill it once per year because that'd be great. 9,000 liters a year is easily doable when we're making 43 off the big field. We could probably just plant that small field with some kind of grain crop every year and that would feed them. So 
so that'd be awesome. Yeah, all right, so that's that. Done and done. Uh, I'm not worried about like prettying up the farm with um, sheds and stuff like that. Don't really care too much about that. Like obviously in real life you wouldn't want to just leave your farming equipment out in the in the rain and stuff. Maybe that's does that have an effect on maintenance? I don't know. I really don't know. The damage on this is 83 percent. Goodness. But I, I want to kind of hold off and not have to fix it if. Uh, I don't have to, and maybe just um, fix it and repaint it when I go to sell it, because that'd be great. But again, I don't really plan on getting new tractors anytime soon, so we will probably end up having to spend the money to fix that thing. Uh, I'm going to go sell these, and uh, that's going to be today's episode, uh, mostly just because I'm out of time to record more. So next time we will harvest the canola, we'll harvest the oats. We will sell the straw from the oats. I imagine we'll probably get the same amount relatively as we did from our barley field. So I'll probably make another 25000 there. So canola immediately gets sold. Oats immediately gets sold. So we should be looking at a pretty darn good profit. And I don't see why we wouldn't be able to buy a planter. Because I would really like to buy a planter. And then uh, we'll just do one year of just soybeans everywhere and make a ton of money <laughs> and that'll hopefully get us enough money that maybe we can buy another field or two uh i don't know what we'll do um you know maybe if something awesome comes up for sale we can look at that but currently i just want to be able to make more money i only want to do things that are going to increase our profits that's all i'm worried about so i will see you guys back on the next one thank you so much for watching Drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And uh, yeah, take it easy, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.